Hey YouTube, it's Anthony. It is Monday, April the 15th, 2013. Now, this is a video that I was planning on uh, getting done over the weekend, but I was really busy just entertaining folks left and right. I had a birthday party that I had to go to. On that note, happy birthday, Justin. Love you, bitch. Um, and then, after the uh, festivities that evening, I wound up attending a screening of Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn at the Billport Theater. So, with that um, in mind, I was being asked by a lot of people what I thought about the Evil Dead remake. Truth be told, I have yet to see it. I've heard nothing but good things about it. But there are those remakes out there that do fall short from the original product. So, that is going to be the topic of this video, and I'm just going to briefly touch base on this because this video is going to act as a response to a question that was asked by uh, another uh, person on YouTube who goes by the name of Billy Boy the Clown. Upon seeing my trailer for Old Boy, he was asking the question, what are your thoughts on an Old Boy remake? Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with this movie, Old Boy is directed by Park Chan Wook, who is also the director of Stoker, which is his first American release. And for those of you in the Nashville area, this film is still showing at the Belcourt Theater, so definitely check it out before it's pulled off of the roster. Old Boy itself tells the story of Oh Dai Su, a businessman from South Korea who's a womanizer and a drunk. And after being uh, pulled out of the drunk tank one evening, he is kidnapped by an unknown assailant and is imprisoned for 15 years within a room. In that time, he is accused of his wife's murder and his child's disappearance. And he winds up being released and is given five days to find the person who is responsible for locking him up in the first place and why they did it. Now... There is a remake coming out later this year, directed by Spike Lee, and this is where I get to answer Billy Boy's, the Clown's question. No, I do not agree with remakes to begin with, especially when it is a remake of one of my favorite films from South Korea. And furthermore, if said film is going to have to carry the moniker of being a Spike Lee joint, no, nobody likes that short, nearsighted, angry... Let's just say that I don't like him. I'm not going to speak for the general public because there are some people out there who like him. As for myself, I really can't see myself actually liking anything beyond Malcolm X. Now, there are a few exceptions out there. Girl 6, for example. Great story and awesome soundtrack. God love Prince. And then, there are other films uh, such as Bamboozle. It was, to me, surprisingly good. There are those, including my cameraman, who is definitely saying no to that film. Yeah, you're, if you see the thumb there, there are your thoughts <laughs> on the movie. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but... While I may wind up in line to go and see the movie come October, I have to say that I have my concerns about him working on this film. But you have to understand, this is a movie that has been played around on the remake table ever since it was referenced in Saw 2 back in 2005. And there have been other directors who have turned it away. Off the top of my head, I don't remember any of them. In addition, there were other um, actors prior to Josh Brolin who turned away the role of the Odai Su character. And as far as the antagonists, there have been the likes of Clive Owen and Christian Bell who were offered the roles and they turned them away either due to personal reasons or due to their commitments with other projects. And then there are just other elements involved that I don't think are going to translate well with this film. Why they chose New Orleans as the backdrop for said film is beyond me. Is it going to be a suitable American substitute to Seoul? Probably not, but once again, time will tell. So, share your thoughts. What do you think about it? What do you think about Park Chan-wook? Matter of fact, if you've seen Stoker, definitely feel free to leave comments. 
But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and thanks again for tuning in. I will talk to you guys later. This is Anthony, and I'll see you at the movies. Later.